Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to check in on your weekend. Just want to say hi. Uh, we, we, we haven't forgotten about you. We love you. We're praying for you. Um, and I just want to take a moment to remind us all as we kind of sit through what is the coronavirus and kind of sitting and waiting and, and kind of maybe getting stressed or anxious. Uh, just reminding ourselves to sit in a posture of prayer. Um, and so just knowing that that is so vital uh, that we stay in tune with our relationship with God. We don't lose sight of that. We keep we don't lose sight of what's important and, and communing with our Father. And so we want to I just want to point you towards a video in just a moment. Kind of watch uh, Josh Griffin, uh, who works with Download Youth Ministry. Want to let him talk for a couple minutes about prayer, and then I'll come back on and uh, talk a little bit about a practical way maybe that you guys can uh, implement in your prayer into your prayer life. I remember when I was in high school, my mom got sick, really, really sick. Not like miss a couple days at work sick, but we called a family meeting and I remember my dad saying words I'll never forget. Words like terminal and she's not gonna make it. It was a really serious time, rattled my whole world. We moved from Texas where we lived for a long time to Wyoming of all places, like yay, Wyoming. But we did that so that we could be close to my mom's family so they could help raise us once she passed away. And here's the thing, in my mom's final days, I learned how to do laundry, I learned how to cook, and I learned a lot of amazing things and developed a real closeness to my mom. But I also developed a real closeness to God. And we prayed and prayed and prayed. We prayed for God's will to be done. We prayed for healing. We prayed that God would do a miracle in this situation. There's this moment in the Bible where Jesus is teaching what's called the Sermon on the Mount. And he actually gives us some incredible guidelines for how we're supposed to pray. Part of that prayer goes like this. It says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done. What is amazing about that statement is that when we pray to God, we're praying that his will would be done, not our agenda, not our plan. Our will is in total submission to God's plan. That's not an easy thing to pray when you're going through a rough time. It's not easy to say, God, I want your will to be done when I totally have an agenda that I want God to answer. I used to think that prayer was just getting something from God. Like if I ask hard enough, maybe this cosmic vending machine God will give me what I wanted. And I realized that's pretty childish. And when I was a teenager, I thought that prayer was more like talking to God, like he was a really great listener. But the older I get and the more I study God's word, I realize that prayer is really a conversation between a child and their loving heavenly father. I mean, think about this with the conversations in your life, right? You're hanging out with a great friend and the conversation is life-giving and fun and there's laughter and there's vulnerability and there's joy and maybe even tears sometimes. And sometimes you do all the talking and sometimes they do all the talking and sometimes just being together, well, their presence is enough. I wonder if our conversations with God shouldn't be that way that we laugh, we cry, we share our deepest feelings. Sometimes he does the talking, sometimes we do the talking, sometimes nothing is said at all. The part of that verse says, your will be done. I realize that's not easy. And especially when I was in high school, that was a dangerous thing to pray. But I do know this, through that experience, I learned a lot about God and I learned a lot about the conversation we can have with our loving Heavenly Father through prayer.
Hey, Mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. I was just cutting through the cemetery. Okay, see ya. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that short clip, uh, but just wanted to again reiterate something that Josh said about the the when Jesus mentioned talking about the Lord's Prayer, right? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, right? And that prayer, that's just it's a beautiful prayer of a structure of the way that we can pray and that way we can kind of orient ourselves and process through what does prayer look like. And so some of you guys might be wondering and, and kind of unsure about, hey, how do I kind of stay connected with God? How do I uh, not get uh, kind of ADD when I'm trying to pray? Or, and I want to pray, but I get really distracted quite quickly. And I have I have uh, struggled with kind of putting my prayers together. How can I do that well? Well, one thing I would love to share with you is a potential tip or a practical way that you can pray, whether it's verbal or whether it's journaling, uh, is through an acronym called ACTS, A-C-T-S. Um, and so the first letter is A. Uh, and that, it's kind of a way that we start your prayers just through adoring God, adoration, right? Adoring God, worshiping God for who he is. But that's how we can start our prayers and we can just praise God for who he is. But then we can move into C, which is confession. And confession is simply just saying, God, I've messed up. I've sinned against you. I want to confess to you and I'm going to humbly confess this to you, but I'm also going to confidently come knowing that you're going to forgive me uh, because you are a good and you are a gracious God. So confession and just being honest with our shortcomings before God. Then T, the third letter T is Thanksgiving. How can I just thank God for the things in the, for the things around me? Uh, we are, we're kind of trapped and cooped up in our homes right now and things are canceled, but there are so many things that we could be thankful for right now, guys. What could you possibly be thankful for? And maybe make a list and just thank and thanking God for those things. And then finally is supplication. Supplication. supplication is just a big word to say, uh, requesting and, and petitioning before God saying, hey God, if I'm being honest, I have some things I would like to ask of you and for you. And so what would that look like for you to kind of think and petition before God saying, hey God, if I'm being honest, I have some things that are on my mind and my heart that I would like to ask of you because you are a good God who gives good gifts to his children. And so A, adoration, C, confession, T, thanksgiving, S, supplication. Uh, maybe you could use that as an acronym moving forward as a way you can process your prayers again verbally or writing them down in a journal. I know for me that's helped in the past and maybe that's something that you could do moving forward. And so just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, we love you. We're for you. You are loved and you are valued. You belong here. We're cheering you on. Catch you later, guys.